Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tunisian thievery in Europe Universe House 4. Also, apparently, Sons of Carthage. I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I just wanna try to get this, this burn rate down to like one ducat a month. We have like 29 months of spare time here. Also, I don't think we need our Ford on right now. Let's, that'll save us a little bit of money. I mean, if he actually tries to land troops, then maybe I'll turn it on. We should have time to reinforce it. But he's just, he's just sitting here blockading. Papal State has now excommunicated Genoa. Could be nice if we were actually uh, Catholic, but uh, I really like, I, I love the Muslim um, religion in this game. It's, it's one of my favorites. Out of all the different religions that you could play as, I would put like Muslim probably slightly ahead of like Protestant and Reformed. It's just way up there. Just the fact that you've got this awesome slider that lets you have Money and manpower, <laughs> and tech cost reduction, or missionary strength, morale of armies, and fort defense. Like, you can swing it both ways, depending on what you need. And right now, we've got 5.5% missionary strength, which is awesome. You know? I just love that. Uh, which reminds me that we've got uh, just these two provinces to convert. These two here. There are only three development, but we're, we're knocking them out pretty quick. That's going to give us 100% religious unity, which will help out in the future. And it looks like we're just waiting on this guy's enthusiasm to drop down to low. Because he's not going to get any direct war score with me. In fact, um, the war score... It's too bad that the war score that I got, like from that battle, is... Uh, it doesn't count at all. Not even one little bit. No one's embargoing me. I wonder, maybe if, um, why don't we mess with these guys a little bit, see if I, if I cancel my embargo against you, and then like reissue it, maybe we can, I don't know, prompt the AI to embargo us. That would be the goal. Sometimes when you embargo them, they just immediately counter embargo you, and I, and I would like to get this, this opportunity here for a, for a war. I don't know, I don't really have any reason to expect that they're actually gonna follow through and, and do it, but... Hmm... So how long is this war gonna take here? Maybe I shouldn't have defended Granada. Castilian military strength. I mean, yeah, you do have more troops than I do. Why don't you send some of them over here and see how well they do? Crazy idea, I know. I mean, he's got 13,000 troops sitting right in Sevilla. Sevilla. Send them on over, man. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Only 18 months now to convert. That's not bad at all. We do have some unrest, but it's not going to cause any issues, it looks like. Alright, can we, now that that's converted, revoke any of this land from the, the clergy? Clergy have 20%, and they only require 10. So, yeah, I think, um, I think like that one, that's now Sunni, we revoke this from them. Oh, uh, this would decrease their loyalty to 63.89%. That's still above 60, so that's good. And influence goes down to 70, that's fine. Percentage of land down to... Yeah, that's good. Let's take it. Man, we should have 0% autonomy there now, which is great. Hey, we can take military tech 4. Cool, I'm gonna take it right away. Come on, Castile, come land some troops here. I know you want to. I don't have military access, do I? No. Didn't think so. And the Ottomans are working on Akuyunlu, which is great, because they may end up with a border with the Mamluks, which will prompt them to take the mission to invade the Mamluks. And I'm definitely going to piggyback. In fact, um, if we get a royal marriage with the Ottomans right now, then we're very, very likely to, to get an, uh, an alliance with them soon. They no longer consider us to be threatened by the Mamluks. Interesting. It's very interesting that that went away. Like the Mamluks are almost interested in an alliance with us. Kind of funny. Well, obviously we, we side with the Ottomans in that in that situation. We're not going to side with the uh, the Mamluks. Can't happen. 
Regency Council here. So weird to see a Sunni nation with a Regency Council. They have 11 years of Regency. Morocco, why, why'd you have to go and ally this guy, huh? Do you want me to kill you? Maybe we should just kill Morocco right now. Like... We have a tech advantage. Our, our army's not doing anything. I believe Tlemcen's probably not gonna have a very sizable army. Oh, what do they have? They've got 10,000 troops to our 17. And we got that tech advantage, we got flanking advantage. Terrain is pretty good along the coast. And they only have the one fort. How's their leader? They have a 0 2. I can't see the Tlemceni leader, but it can't. It's very unlikely to be much better than, than that. I suppose uh, we build another spy network against this guy then. I, I'm thinking that we gotta do, we gotta do something. Like, we gotta attack something. Alright, he's done a medium enthusiasm, finally. Granada's at 20 war exhaustion. AI's not even smart enough to move his army around and loot the other provinces. He's probably just sitting here at full maintenance. Wouldn't be surprised if he uh, raised uh, war taxes or something, just to be a, a derp. We are slowly gaining war exhaustion because of the blockaded ports, which is irritating, but... Not a big deal. Not really. Yeah... I mean, we're delaying, uh, we're delaying Castile from doing anything at all right now outside of attacking, uh, Granada, which is kind of good, but at the same time, it's also, like, I'm not doing anything right now either, which kind of stinks. But we, we need to wait for an opportunity here, an opening. We, we, we could, we could declare a no CB war against Provence. Or just declare the rival war, but the rival war again, we can't get a ticking war score with them. Then again, if I had enough transports that I could actually land troops down there, maybe. What if I improved relations with France? And we asked them for military access. Pretty difficult to do after having raided their coasts, isn't it? These guys would give us military access. Well, that stinks. 0.5 corruption for no reason at all. It's gonna cost us a lot to get rid of that. Why don't we uh, not spend money? Not spend. Well, it's actually. Hold on. It'll take us quite a while if we don't spend at least a little bit of money on it. Let's spend a little bit. Do, 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 do. Global trade power, cool. Like it. Castile, come on, man. Let's end this war. It looks like we're like, I don't know, 12 months away, 13 months away. One whole more year. Ooh, rebels. Good, Morocco's a little bit weak. Would that mean? Would that mean? Just out of curiosity, while those rebels are still active, if I declared like right now, Damn, they're, they're dead now. Damn! There's an opportunity there that maybe they wouldn't have honored a call. Oh well. We'll keep looking for opportunities. And I think this is the most war score. No, you can get another 10 whole war score from this. Granada's were 23. Jeez. A lot. I could inflate my military strength by uh, training more troops going over the force limit. That would be very expensive though. Hey, you would actually accept an alliance right now. Let's let's uh let's do that. We'll wait till January 1st. Wanna lose diplo points in favor of a little tiny tiny bit more piety? I think we're already at 95. 
Or do you want to lose some? No, we'll spend the Dipple Points. Cap out that thing, get an extra little tiny bit of conversion speed. Let's come back from Togurt, and let's get an alliance with the Ottomans. Now I can, across the Gulf of Sirt here, fabricate on Benghazi. And since these guys are rivaled, right? You've rivaled the Mamluks? They would almost definitely conquer. They would almost definitely accept a call to arms. So we should fabricate on... on the Mamluks right now in order to prompt this war. Annoyingly, if you try to declare on Fazan, the Ottomans will be like, Oh, well, I don't really care about that. <laughs> you gotta declare on the actual Overlord. Even though declaring war on a vassal would put us at war with the Overlord, and the Overlord would be the war leader. He just doesn't see it that way. He sees it as us declaring on Fazan. Might not be a bad idea to uh, secure the royal marriage with this guy. Well, I feel good, because again, normally the AI does not secure an alliance between Tunis and, and the Ottomans, and we've managed to do that. Okay, no legitimacy cost is pretty good. Our heir is a 2-1-0. He is so bad that we're going to make him do a leader. Hey, two siege value. Not bad at all, actually. End of the War of the Roses. Good for them. Who they end up with? They got a Landcaster in charge. That's a three legitimacy hit. Not going to take it. You're going to try to white piece me yet? I mean, sometime today, maybe. You're not making gains. Like... Like, you're making 0.4 per month. It's not very good. Relax. Alright, there's our final conversion. Which means that, uh... And I never actually even did hire the level 2 Inquisitor. Or no, we hired, uh, we hired a Theologian. That's right, we didn't hire the Inquisitor. That's fine, we didn't need him. Alright, so fabricating on the Mamluks. We are fabricating on Tlemcen. We have one claim on Tlemcen right now. Who else could we fabricate on? It's kind of tempted maybe to go after... After Aragon. And if we can balloon up our naval strength... I could see it happening. We've got no forts on this island. We could very easily just like get some troops there real quick. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. Alright, so he just negotiated directly with him. We didn't even have to go for the white piece. So he just full annexed him and ignored us. Good. Means we're officially at peace. Um, a 25 spy network strength right now to get a claim on Clemson has announced Tunis. All right, so now you, after giving me money, you've rivaled me now. Good. Does that mean uh, anything might change here between you two? Would be nice. All right, who else can we rival? We can rival the Mamluks. Excellent. Let's do it. Now, considering, um... That's curious. What if I declare to humiliate war against Mamluks? We can't take land. So, would the Ottomans get upset with me if I didn't take land? We could we could do that and actually kind of backstab the Ottomans a little bit and force them into a war against the Mamluks. But then again, if you promise them territory... <laughs> that's kind of weird. Like, how does that work? I think two claims is sufficient. We're supposed to be saving 106 ducats right now. It's going to be a little bit different, difficult to obtain since I wasn't able to loot anybody. Yeah, just out of curiosity, like, would the, would the Ottomans join us in a war right now? They would on a promise of territory using a CB that I can't take territory with. <laughs> I, I want to do this. I, I, I'm going to do this. I want to do this just to find out what happens. That's interesting. I mean, we could get some monarch points out of it. We could get power projection out of it. And screw the Ottomans out of being able to actually... We'll give them a truce with the Mamluks for a while. But the fact that we can't take land is a bit of a concern. Why don't we just wait for an actual claim? And then we'll take Benghazi. 
We'll try to work our way over here. I mean, Benghazi for sure is uh, it's in our trade node, our trade region. I want to get a claim on Benghazi and Sirt. And we probably take Gadamis as well. But if there's ever an opportunity here where Morocco won't defend him, like if he gets more rebels, by all means, I think Portugal is going to probably want to attack him at some point in the near future. He'll attack Morocco. You know, I think we dissolve the alliance with Morocco, because if that happens, I don't want to get called into another one of these wars where I've got to defend Morocco, because Morocco is going to call in both of us. I would rather be I would rather have the opportunity to attack Tlemcen while Tlemcen and Morocco are fighting Sevilla in Portugal. So even though we've been friends for a while, this this feels like it's a bad idea. Yeah. Cuz you you're not you nah. You're not going to help me. You're you're probably the damn Berber that stole all the loot everywhere. You've probably got the largest navy. Although, you couldn't reach all the way in here, so it had to be Tlemcen. It's the only other person that could have done it besides Fazan, and he's only got three galleys. Uh, no, Morocco. I decline your request. We're just playing on Aragon and the Mamluks right now. Um, I suppose, since we have nothing else to do, we'll spy on Tlemcen, just so we have a little bit of siege, siege speed against them. We should spend a little bit of money here to get the corruption gone. Burgundy's declared war in Provence, okay. Well, if Burgundy annihilates the Provence Navy... And also, I think we should go back to, uh, now, that our, now that we're at peace, the trade nodes... Genoa is worth more than Venice by a bit, so we should be privateering there instead. Not to mention we have rivals in there. How many navy, how many transports do we have? We have just three transports, so I can only get three troops over here at a time. What if we paid close attention to how Provence's army looks, and if it gets stack wiped? It's only got 6,000 troops right now. I think we could easily do that. I'm gonna pull the uh, the galleys and the transports off. Yeah, if he's only got six thousand troops, he's got seven thousand. But Burgundy's easily easily gonna get military access through Savoy, most likely. And then he's gonna come in and just stack wipe him. He's gonna park an army there. The humiliate rival thing just really requires you to uh, siege down their capital. It is a level 3 coastal fort, but we'll be able to get a, bla a blockade established. Land some troops there. Tell you what, let's go scout it first. Let's go see if... Okay, he's got one troop there right now. France... My... Okay, France, the Pope... The Pope, France, has excommunicated Aragon now as well. Okay, um, that's interesting. Shock value is the most valuable, so our son is going to be the one to lead the army. I think we got, we got to go for this right now. Humiliate capital. They'll call in Florence and Savoy. Wait, hold on. Is Burgundy fighting Savoy right now? Okay, so he is. Let's wait a little bit and see if Savoy won't honor the call. Savoy has 7,000 of their own troops. And I imagine Burgundy's, like, way up there. Burgundy's probably got tons. Burgundy... 13,000. But they've also got, like, three slaves, basically. Let's just wait a little bit. We'll find an opportunity for expansion. We always do. In two months, we'll be able to get a claim on Benghazi. Let's start with that one. Nice also that Benghazi doesn't have this increased coring cost modifier. We're losing a little bit of money now. We're no longer rooting out corruption, thank goodness. 
We are losing money again. We're over the force limit. War spoils aren't enough. And it's because I'm at full maintenance right now, that's why. It'd be great if we could just do a little bit. Yeah, I can't afford really to... <clears throat> can't afford to sit complete full maintenance right now. In fact, until we see the opportunity to attack, I'm just going to stay down. we got to make a little bit of a profit, I think. Alright, I need a claim on Benghazi. Now, Sirt is only a three development province. We could just take this for nine diplo points. I don't think we need to wait for that. Yeah, I think I think rather than worry about Provence right now, let's let's go and uh, mess with let's go mess with this guy for a bit. Keep our whole navy together so that it's hopefully safe. We're gonna privateer Genoa. We're gonna march this army down here and get ready to attack the army that Fizan has in in his capital. We'll leave behind one infantry to go into Gadamese. Probably make the war goal Gadamese. This will be easier to siege. We'll leave behind one guy. Ah, eh, we'll put him... He can stay here, that's fine. But we have no, 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 no actual defensive terrain. We'll call this guy in on a promise of, like, favors or whatever. Since we have them. Now the Ottomans will not join. Does not want any Fizan. Oh, I don't want to declare war on Fizan, that's why. Okay, gotcha. Messed up. Okay, I'm gonna wait one more month here. Get a claim on um I usually do take this. Malta Palermo, there are forts here, which makes it a lot harder to take. I think we go for Cagliari. Because that gets us a lot a lot better in inroad to this region. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna declare this war in one month. We're gonna be forced to take a loan here. Let's just take it ourselves. Which cancels our mission. Hunker Kazdir. Again, it's still wanting me to go west. Let's let's try taking improve our prestige. It's gonna be difficult to get that, but we'll try. Alright, um for now, I'm gonna take a break here. Next episode we'll declare war on the Mamluks. What land does the Ottomans even want, by the way? They want this land over here. And they can core it, so. Alright, well we'll go ahead and we'll give them that land if they do their job. First off, I hope that they'll be able to get military access through Dokodir. If not, uh, we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon!